Hey guys, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, boat etiquette. Coming on an overnight boat like this, doesn't matter if it's a one day trip or five day trip, anything like that. Um, a lot of you have been asking me questions, sending us questions here at the TV show, asking uh, special questions like just basic information that I take for granted because I've been doing this so long. 33 years on TV and probably 10 more years before that I was going on party boats. Um, some of the basic stuff. Uh, what, do you, what can you bring, what can't you bring on a boat? Um, number one most important thing, no illegal drugs. Even though marijuana is legal in California, it is not legal on a federal vessel. And all these boats are federally mandated. They're governed by the Coast Guard. So what you can get away with on land in California, you can't here. Here you'll go to jail. So the, the crews will warn you about that, but uh, just don't even bring it. As far as uh, drinks and stuff, if you want to bring a little soft bag with some water or juice or something, I don't think anybody would say anything about that. But all the water, beer, sodas is available in the galley. They sell that. If you're really specific that you can only drink a certain beer that you like, you need to call the boat and talk to them about it. Some of the boats will make an arrangement where they'll go get it for you or they'll charge you a fee to bring your own. But as a rule, just plan on drinking whatever they have on the boat. And in Southern California, we're lucky all the boats have galleys on them. So they'll have somebody making breakfast, lunch, dinner for you. And uh, I don't know why it is, but the burgers always taste better out at sea. Some of the burgers that you probably wouldn't eat on land, when you have them on sea, they're just so delicious. Um, some other basic information uh, as far as like bunks. Some boats, the bunk situation is handled at the reservation window. When you make your reservation, they'll do a first come first serve where you can pick out your bunk or if you want a bottom bunk, a top bunk, whatever you want, you can do that when you buy your ticket. Uh, so you have to call the landing and work that out. Lots of other boats, it's first come first serve. So the first ones on the boat get a go, pick their bunts, throw your jacket on there, your bag on there, and you'll get all that. Uh, no ice chests are allowed on the boats. It's really important in Southern California, no ice chests. So if you're gonna have an ice chest for your fish, leave that in your car and pay the crew to fillet your fish. They'll fillet your fish, put it in a bag for you. And when you get to your car, you can go ahead and get some ice, throw it in your cooler and get it home. And once you get it home, process it, put it in an airtight bag, you know, game saver bag or something like that. So there's no air in there, so your fish will last longer. The better you take care of the fish, the nicer product you're gonna have. And I know there's so many other little things like that. You know, you always want to be prepared. If there's a chance it's going to rain, bring a rain gear. Uh, warm time in the summer, you know, you want to be in shorts. Get some boots, some like extra toughs, something like that. So when the crew's washing down the boat, you don't get wet or it gets a little sloppy outside, your feet don't get wet. So you want to have those rubber boots on. You don't want to destroy a pair of tennis shoes every time you go fishing. And when you're on the boat, <clears throat> don't be afraid to ask questions. These crews are out here every day. They know exactly what the fish are biting on, what they caught them on the day before. And when it gets in the season, these guys are on the boats. They'll run on the boats like three, four months in a row every day. So they know exactly the time of day that fish have been biting, what kind of hooks you need, what color jigs, surface bottom, flat falls, surface jigs, whatever it is. They'll be glad to share all that information with you. So just ask. And one last thing is uh, change your line. So your spectral line that you have on your reels, you don't need to change that. But any top shot you have on that, change that often and change your fluorocarbon for every trip so you have good fluorocarbon. And if you're gonna be fishing the surface, you really need that fluorocarbon, have a better chance of catching fish. But there's lots of little etiquettes where your rods go and the rod holders, stuff like that. Um, communicate a lot with the people you're fishing with. The better you communicate, the better you're gonna do. And sometimes you get little bonuses like right now, we got porpoise right here off the bow. Right here, we got porpoise. There he is right here, three or four of them. So these are just the little extras that you get for coming out to sea. They just came by to say hello. Probably recognize us out here fishing all the time. So, and that's what fishing is, the experience. It isn't just about catching fish. I sleep better when I'm on the water. I'm, this is my happy place. There was that movie with uh, George Clooney, 
up in the air where he talks about when he's at 30,000 feet, that's his happy place. For me, when I'm at, at sea and you can't see land like right now, this is my happy place. This is where I smile all the time. This is where I'm happy. This is where I get the most relaxation. It's a lot cheaper to come fishing than it is to see a therapist. And I just love being out here. And we got the dolphins here. We'll probably see whales on the way in. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of uh, information and knowledge and what to expect and, and etiquette when you come on the boat. And this little gift here of the porpoise is just a reminder that's not all about the fishing. It's just about being on the water and having fun, making new friends, enjoying time on the water. Remember, life isn't about number of days lived. It's about number of days remembered. And moments like this with the porpoise and the whales catching fish, those are days to be remembered. Thanks, guys. Talk to you all later. See you on the water. Hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And just want to remind you, we have that contest going all year long. Every month we'll be giving away prizes. You still have time to get in while you're watching the video. Subscribe right here to my YouTube channel. Leave a comment down below. Make sure you like this video. And also follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. I'm TV Dan on Instagram. Thanks again for watching. Enter the contest and maybe you'll want a trip to come fish with me on my boat, the Misueño. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later.